along the riverfront trail. We're hoofing it now. We're hoofing it now. There goes an ambulance on the bridge. All right, so we just came from that way. We're gonna go this way. Bike blogger here. Here we go. We're going home now. We're going home now. Downtown St. Louis, back home. Woo. See how long it takes me. Big wall to the right. Yeah, I saw a step so you could actually get a little closer to the water there to the left. If you really wanted to, I guess you could. Do we want to? Sure we do, sure we do. Onto the sand. Oh. All right. Down on the waterfront. Kind of sandy. Kind of sandy down here. Don't fall in the water. Ugh. Don't run over the glass. Woo. All right, let's get back up. Mississippi River. Mississippi River. It's hot out here. <laughs> I should have remembered to bring some water. Ah, oh, dang. Let's see, what time is it now? It's about 4.30. It's actually 4.27 to be exact. So let's see how long it takes me to get from here back to the park uh, near the county, uh, western edge of the city. So it's about 4.30. Let's see if I can do it in maybe about a half hour. Whew. I wish I had water. I guess I could have gone to a water fountain back there. Oh well. There's a barge to the left. I got a whole bunch of junk on that barge. Okay, let's just put the uh, let's just put the trash cans on the bike trail. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Whew. <laughs> it's like the zombie apocalypse. Where is everybody? Oh no! Is this closed off because of the flood? There, there. Wait a minute. I cut through here. Doesn't really want me to. Ah, shucks. I don't know. I don't know, guys and gals. We're gonna have to add a little time to our to our estimated schedule going back here. I don't know. I guess I can try going off over here. Is there a way through over here? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, maybe. Oh, it's like walking on the beach. Ugh. Hope I ain't in any gang turf here. Okay. All 
don't know. The wall just keeps going and it's all sandy. Screw this, we're going back. Woo, there's a bridge. I think that's Merchant's Bridge? Question mark? Question mark? I don't know. Maybe Merchant's Bridge is north of here. I don't remember. Along the riverfront trail. We're hoofing it now. We're hoofing it now. Yeah, so because the flood water was coming into the city here, they shut the floodgates. That's what that is over to the left, I think. So. Oh. head back toward the arch. Yeah, that stinks. Can't go left. Have to open up the gates. Uh, Alright. Oh my gosh. Maybe I will get a drink of water at the water fountain here if I'm heading back this way again. Believe me, you can keep going that way whenever they decide to open the gates again. Whew. We'll just call this an out and back. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Oh man, I think where that guy's going. Is that the way? Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, let's just hit everything in the road. Second. Let me check my phone. Maybe I could go through that gate back there. Maybe that was the gate back there. I didn't even realize. And uh, no, no. <clears throat> it looks like you're supposed to cross under a bridge. Oh, which would be that bridge there. And then you go right. Where's that car gonna go? Okay, he's hopping the curb. And he's going that way. I guess we'll follow the car, huh? All right, let's do it. Let's do this. That's kind of a big drop for a road bike. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. There we go. All right. There's another car coming up behind me, so get up over here. Now let's try going this way. Looks like the locals know this is the way to go. Okay. Yeah, this is a floodgate. This is open. Maybe the other thing isn't a floodgate. I don't know. This is kind of strange. Uh, where does this go? Okay, the car went to the right when the, the guy went that way too. Let's see where this goes though. There's some uh, paintings straight away there. All right, so I'm gonna go down there, take a look at the paintings real quick, and then we'll turn back around. All right, so if you're in the St. Louis area and you wanna ride from Choteau to the Arch, you can go that way if you wanted to. I don't know why you would though. See, here's the trail. This is like a nice trail. Like, but it's closed. It's closed. So here's some of the murals. I think they've changed. I don't think they used to look like this. I guess they are constantly erasing it and redoing it or something. I don't know. But look at that. What the heck? It's closed off. So that should be open. <laughs> That's the whole back of the water. I'm not sure what each of those colors means. Just different colors. Wow. That's the whole back of 
a huge column of water. Look at those big steel pipes bolted into the ground there. Wow. Now that's a wall. Now that's a world. That'll keep people out. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, this is Shoto. And this should lead me back. Oh wait, there's a water fountain. <laughs> Does the water work? Let's see, the water fountain's dry. Oh wow, there's water here. Oh, all right. Not bad. Woo-wee. Uh, so this road that's flooded is called the Lenore K. Sullivan Boulevard. I don't know if it used to always be called that, but that's what it's called now. I think it's been called that for a while. All right, so we can take this road. Eventually it adds a bike lane and goes all the way back home. What time is it now? Now let's count from... Yeah, we're not going that 4.30 thing. Okay, it's 4.36. So it's about five minutes after 4.30. I think it said it was supposed to start raining around 5, so... It'd be a really good time to get home now. <laughs> so, let's keep going. This is certainly a road preferred by trucks. See more multiple trucks go this way. Railroad right away to get out of there. Whew. All right, we're going under uh, Interstate 4455, I think. I just want to keep going straight here. Oh, the wind is nice and comfy. It's hot. Just crossed Broadway, heading west, back home. That guy's got scooters in the back of his car. I don't know if he's going to charge him up somewhere or what he's doing. I read about that. Uh, people who just wander around cities to charge up these scooters and you get, I don't know, I don't know, a buck 25 for each or whatever, I don't know. Whew. You ought to get, her, get yourself a pickup truck or something out of sedan. You pick a whole bunch of them up at once. Whew. I guess you have enough outlets in your house or apartment to charge them up. Oh, the gig economy. Whew. It's a good thing I put on sunscreen. There is no shade out here. You can see off into the horizon that bike lane all the way home. Out of right home. So we're just south of downtown right now. I don't have my speedometer because I don't have my little phone, which had the app that made it overheat or something and killed my little phone. So we got my little, my big phone now. So I don't know how fast I'm going.
some water. Whew. Roasting out here. Tip of the day, bring water with you. <laughs> My water's nice and cool in the refrigerator at home right now. Just waiting on me to get home. I get up there so I don't have to stop again. Whew. Thank you, thank you. get away from the river here it should flatten out and won't be any more climbing hopefully and we can just chill Woo. all right the lights are red so I might as well slow down oh, keep that wind going as long as possible Woo. Hey, you can see it's like pretty much downhill from here you can see way off in the distance those buildings in the distance are the central west end, I think. I think. So, the western edge of the city. Which is where we're heading. A little scooter. Oh, it's windy, nice and cool. Yes. How do you stay cool on a bike? I'll probably do a video on this later. One thing I do is, you know, bring extra water. Number one, stay hydrated, drink lots of water. Maybe take a cold shower. I did a thing about, I did a video on sweating. Uh, eat something cold before you go. Uh, take extra water, use one of the bottles to just squirt water all over yourself. Get a little evaporative cooling going as long as it's not, if it's really humid, evaporative cooling doesn't work so well. Motorcycle. I always thought that was kind of dangerous to have someone on the back of your motorcycle unless you have like a proper back seat on the motorcycle. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Maybe that bike maybe that bike did. I just remember riding around on a bicycle with friends when I was little and they, you'd have like these little pegs on the back wheel of your bike, like a BMX bike or something. And you carry a second person on those, that's not, that's a no-no, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, especially without a helmet. Nah, spent a lot of years not wearing a helmet. Wear a helmet. <laughs> I no 
know firsthand you can get in a car crash and having a helmet that's just extra insurance no helmet no luck <laughs> One blow at the right angle, you're dead, you're dead. With the helmet, at least you have a chance of not dying. There's the whole argument of, uh, you know, should football players wear helmets? You know, with all these brain injuries you hear about, it's like, well, you didn't hear about it maybe so much decades ago when they didn't wear really anything like these, uh, helmets filled with foam you know they had just I don't know leather skin helmets or no helmets at all and you know it discourages people from you know <laughs> purposefully running their head into other people I mean it's like that's just what you got to do in pro football Woo. and the fans love it Gladiator fights. Woo. So we're still on Shoto. Heading back to the, the county. Nice long, smooth, relatively flat road right now. And not a lot of traffic. A Sunday afternoon. Just a lot of wind. Fighting the wind is like fighting up a hill. Except it's not really as... <laughs> not really as big of a reward once you get past it. It's not like you can go down wind. Just keep going against the wind. Whew. This is Compton. We were here earlier. Heading west. Here, um, I don't know what that was. That looked like one of those little uh, little filter things or whatever on a for a gutter system on a house. <laughs> Just laying in the road. Just laying in the road. Scrappy's recycling. You're welcome, free advertising. Scrappy's Recycling. I just like the name of that. If they're even in business anymore. That sign looks kind of beat up. Maybe because it's made of scrap metal. <laughs> street plate. That's a street plate. Up the hill. Is this Jefferson Avenue? Might be. Sizzling. Top of the glass.
Even though this is a quote unquote bike lane, you can see I'm purposely riding on the very edge of it because it's all filled with debris. And this is the number one reason people get flat tires on bikes is they ride in that stuff. And then they're like, oh, I gotta get a super puncture resistant tank of a tire. You know, just riding sensibly can avoid that. Of course, sometimes there's nothing you can do. J play. We're at 39th Street. We're almost out of the city. Cross over the railroad tracks again. Kind of a steep drop. Kind of feel like it's probably a little uncomfortable for other people if it is for me. They need a nice big wall, like over there to the left. See that big fence for the pedestrians? Man, they need something over here, because this, this wall looks too low. If, you, if I fell to my right, there's a possibility I could get startled and actually roll over the wall and fall, geez, I don't know, 30 feet onto the railroad tracks. There's a little bit of a... There's a little bit of a fence there to the right now, but geez. Somebody fix that if you're with the city and you're watching this video. <laughs> that don't seem right. Alright, now Shoto turns into Manchester Avenue. door zone. Alright, let's go up this way. This will take us back to the park. It's clear. I don't know, I think it's actually going to take me longer to get home than it was to get into the uh, downtown. Might be because of the lights. Might be because it's just a little more hilly going back. I don't know. Woo. Nice big streets. No bike lane, but plenty wide. They could add a bike lane if they wanted to. Not really a need for it though. It's not a very busy street. Ugh. So actually we are on Shoto, but you know. People don't uh ah, you don't tend to uh people don't tend to drive the car along this road so they don't even know it exists. Because you can see back there when I went through that blockade that was only open to bicyclists. I mean, you can get a car around the blockade by going another block up or whatever, but it's not as easy as just staying on Manchester Avenue. My throat's real dry. Passing a park on the right there. I bet they got a. Oh yeah. I bet they got a uh, water fountain in that park. Oh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> we'll just keep going. Western 
edge of the park up here. I'll check my my clock and see uh, how long it took to get back here. Oh, this road's kind of bumpy. A bumpy road always makes for a slower ride. Fatter tires can help with that though. fat tires excel the bumpy roads this is nice and smooth Cross the bridge, cross another freeway, into the park here. They got nice big walls on the bridge here so you can't fall off. Ha 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 ha! Woo! Okay, I hope a bee didn't just go into my shirt. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so you probably remember this area from the earlier. There we go. All right, down into the park. Got a few hills to conquer and we'll be home. off my bike right there going the other direction once and I landed on my wrist a weird way and now I have a bone spur and it hurts sometimes so if you're gonna fall off your bike try not to catch yourself just just roll with it the problem is instinct tells you to try to catch yourself and that's when you break limbs okay all right so now it's just Bicycle trail back up the hill. Oh, well, looks like we're not going to get rained on. Jinx. No. Hopefully, I didn't jinx it. Sango Spade! It's all I need! Keep it single Spade! Woo! So if I were to drive into the city including all the time it takes me to get my bike you know, all my bike stuff together, pump up the tires. It may take twice as long to get into the city by bike than by car, but it's so much more fun. <laughs> and you get a workout in too, so you know. Two birds, one stone deal. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. So what I was trying to say earlier is I got a 
paper towel in my back pocket, which yeah, could be used as a tissue, blow my nose or something, but it's also to bunch up my pocket. My pocket's too big. And I can put my uh, phone in my back pocket, but it kind of rolls around 90 degrees and it feels weird. So if I bunch up my pocket a little, the phone won't bounce around as much. I usually carry stuff in my uh, my cage box or cage pack, which is a little uh, basically like what some people do. They cut off the top of their water bottle and they just stuff stuff in it. And they carry stuff in their water bottle cage. I do that a lot. Although I am looking to get in a backpack, something that can carry my clothes a little easier. There are other options. I have videos on this. You get a bike rack. You could stick a box on the bike, on the back of the bike, on the rack, or some panniers, or just a backpack, <laughs> or rucksack, as some of you call it. You can also get a frame bag. I generally like to just keep my bike as nimble as possible, though, so. I'd almost rather be more uncomfortable and put something actually on my person. Maybe, I don't know. I'll have to give it a shot, try some time. Maybe do a video on that, I don't know. We're just brainstorming. Just happy it's not storming or raining. How are we doing on time? I'd say I'm probably about five minutes out here. So we shall see. Bike vlogger. Ba -ba 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 bike vlogger. Woo. That's the St. Louis Zoo to the right. I don't know, there's like 500, 600 species of animal in there. About 18,000 animals in there. Not quite as nice as the Berlin Zoo, but then again, unlike the Nazis, we didn't turn our zoo into a fortress and get it bombed and get all the animals killed and, oh, let's not be negative. Let's be positive. Riding a bike, enjoying life. The bike blogger way. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. One more hill and we're there. Yeah, I'm just happy it's not really hot like yesterday. Yesterday and today there's a heat advisory. Dangerous. Outdoor activities. Bring your water. But no, yesterday it was like, uh, heat index was like 105 or something. Really, really warm. Really warm. Little bit of shade. Bike bloggers liking the shade. You're uh, we're on the literal home stretch now. Woo. Just so happens to be a steep hill on the home stretch. Uh, Well, thanks for coming along with me on this city cycling video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Woo. Oh. 
forget about that bump back there. It slows me down. Woo. Up the hill. six <laughs> that's a half hour we did it we did it half hour from downtown back home Woo. thanks for watching and we'll see you next time